Sorry for the recent downtime in the channel, decided to take a step back for a moment before the new update drops and now algorithms kicking my nuts again so we have to dive right back in. The build I have for you right now is a Daka Daka Pierce 3 I don't give a crap where I'm shooting build. Is it meta? Well, it's kind of useless to actually experiment on what will be meta as of now since the update is already close. Rumors do say that the update will drop on August 11 on Japan, meaning for the non-Asia peeps it will probably be at August 10. But yeah, these are just rumors. The Spears 3 HPG has 100% universal affinity. And no, this build does not rely on Max Might to achieve that 100% affinity. So hop or fat roll to your heart's content. Yes, you will be utilizing the butchered version of Crouching Fire to make this build more efficient. It needs some getting used to and a bit of monster knowledge to pull off the timing when to do it, but it's worth it. One tip. A faster way of going out of crouching fire animation is performing a side hop after the shot just before it overheats, to skip that animation of your character going back up from a crouching stance. I highly recommend using this build on multiplayer because when the monster doesn't aggro you, it's your daka daka time. This build will be using a scorn magna malo piece, so we will be staying on the red scroll. The skills I recommend with the red scroll are the following. Rising Sun to make your bullets slower, giving you 1-2 to two additional ticks on your Pierce 3s, and Rising Moon to make your bullets faster, making your bullets have longer range, meaning less chasing the monster when it's moving away, because with this ring, you'll feel like a sniper. Both bullets being shot through Rising Moon and Setting Sun actually deal mount damage. Like I said at the start, this is a Daka Daka build. Proper timing when to do Crouching Fire would help the amount of DPS you deal to the monster. Proper usage of Rising Moon would make repositioning and maintaining critical distance a lot less hassle. Proper usage of Setting Sun would also help in making you deal better damage because more ticks. The footage you are seeing right now is me going up against a Basarios. Basarios is one of the monsters with the shittiest gunner hit zones. But yeah, it's still fun to use against it. Lots of ticks. Here's the generic 3 to one talisman build. We are using the Shagaru Heavy Bowgun because with the gun alone, paired with Kushala Deora Rampage Deco, we easily get 55% universal affinity, making it a walk in the park to actually reach 100% universal affinity. I've tried this build several times in random lobbies and it's pretty fun. It deals decent damage and kind of scratches that itch if you want to play Siege Mode in Sunbreak. Bear in mind that the title update is underway, so for sure things will change a bit in the near future. I'm excited for it as well. Again, this build is compatible with any talisman with a 3-2-1 slot. Feel free to tweak the build to put your own flavor in it. I'll see you guys in the next video.